Hello and welcome to Ginger Welsh Allotments. Um, today I'm over the plot tidying up and I was going to do this um, update at the end of the day once I'd got most things done but I wanted to show you my brassicas now because um, I found a cauliflower that actually has a heart in it. Oh, I haven't had a cauliflower yet that's actually looking like a cauliflower so I wanted to show it to you now. So I was just weeding around this bed and I came across this cauliflower. Now it's not a great specimen of a cauliflower however it is a cauliflower so I have managed to grow a collie that I could hopefully eat and I'm just gonna get some string and tie all those leaves together so that the, the heart isn't exposed to the light otherwise it'll go yellow and I also wanted to show you that all my brassicas have got white fly there's a proper infestation of white fly here um, I don't know if you can see them all shooting around on this camera but um, you might be able to see them on the leaves there and what they've done is where they've left the deposits it's caused this like black soot which will come off so you don't need to get rid of your whole crop or anything it does sponge off but um, the only trouble with the white fly is it checks the growth because they eat the sap from the plant so it doesn't grow so well because if you look at this cabbage here the heart of this cabbage is really really small as opposed to the heart of the cabbage over there which has grown better and the white flight isn't quite so bad in amongst the purple sprouting broccoli um, but the kale is just riddled with it um, so I think I, I had a look in a book that I've got and it said that the winter should eradicate the white fly so hopefully we'll, we'll still have some Brussels sprouts and um, these little creatures these ladybirds or ladybugs ladybirds I was always taught them um, will eat the white fly so what I'm hoping for now is about 80 ladybugs to come along on each plant and eat those little white fly beggars about up but um, yeah I thought I'd show you that anyway so I'll get on now with the weeding and um, I'll check back in with you later hello again so it's almost the end of the day now and um, I finished weeding my cabbage patch and I made a start on the soon-to-be strawberry patch, the ongoing soon-to-be strawberry patch. And there's a few different things um, around the plot that have changed since I last did a plot tour. And I'll take you around and show you now. Here is the strawberry patch they've just been working on. My dad did that section when he was here. So I'm continuing his good work. And um, my fruit garden is growing. There is definitely more growth on those plants than there was before. But I have trimmed back the red currants, as it said to do that on the label. So I did. Unfortunately, the blackberries have not been weeded yet. But um, the compost heap is getting enormous now. Have to sort that out soon. Um, I've taken the tops off my potatoes. I've cut them all back as they were looking quite brown. Um, and I will be moving the potatoes to somewhere else because I'll be using this patch here for my overwintering onions, as it's one of the few bits that are actually um, ready to go, really. So here is my much 
better weeded um, brassicas and I've planted some winter ones in there that I had left over along with some lettuce planted them today and um, I'll just go down and have a look at all the sprouts in here I've taken up most of the cabbages that were in here um, I had about four little tiny cabbages and um, I took them up because I thought with the white fly they're not going to come to much more and uh, I did end up having an earth in two more cauliflowers which I've um, tied up like I did with them so hopefully they'll heart up uh, these are the only remaining cabbages and that big one over there left now until the winter ones come through like I said there's plenty of kale but it's covered in white fly so um, put in the beetroot to cover the patches that were missing but by the time they've grown I'll have taken the, those ones so um, there we are now my pak choy has come up loads I planted it on Saturday which was five days ago and when I planted it it was like the size of that little small um, spinach plant there and they've grown humongous size already so that's encouraging and my spinach most of my spinach is growing as well and the spring onions seem to be spreading their wings too so that's looking promising and over here I've got the rest of my winter cabbages which um, I did plant a lot sooner but they all died off apart from those two so I've planted some more hopefully they'll take and um, see us through the winter there's um, the purple sprouting broccoli and the other purple sprouting broccoli and um, in here are the swedes and um, I've also planted some lettuce in between the swedes and uh, hopefully they will take as well uh, the spin uh, spinach the celery the celery over there I'm going to take all of that out and freeze what's there um, it hasn't grown particularly great but I can just use loads of it in a soup which I've been doing this week and it's been delicious it's been really tasty it might not be very um, thick the stems are not very thick at all but it does pack a bit of a punch and my tomatoes ready for harvesting again as I'm sure oh yes are some petty pans so I planted some cauliflowers where the peas used to be this morning and a couple more cauliflowers up here and hopefully they'll take as well but everything's a bit late now so I'm a bit worried that it's getting a bit too cold for them but um, we'll just have to hope wait and see and hope my bolotti beans are drying nicely we are ready for picking soon this one you can hear a shaking in there but um, not all of them are ready so I'll leave them till they all turn this brown colour but um, it's a lovely colour on those beans isn't it really nice so um, on the sweet corn I do need to harvest the sweet corn I think most of it now is just going to go in the freezer I'm going to cut it off and put it in the freezer and use it throughout the winter and my um, rhubarb patch I don't know if I showed you this for a while but um, they're definitely coming on the size of those leaves so I'm gonna crack on with my harvest now and then once I'm done I'll show you what I've got so here is tonight's haul um, as always we have the petty pans 
which uh, that plant seems to still be going strong those two plants and um, we've got a couple of sweet corn there and a load of tomatoes again and the four cabbages that I took earlier and um, there's plenty more sweet corn and there's actually about five more of this size petty pans but I can't cope with them in the house so they might as well just stay on the plant until I can process them and um, I'm also going to take up some of this celery here as well and uh, take out the sweet corn hopefully soon um, come over and harvest what's there and then remove it as I've got some spring cabbages and Swiss chard and broccoli to go in somewhere so I need to find room for them as well and before I go I just wanted to say a quick thank you to Roger over on Roger and Nikki's allotments who gave me a lovely shout out the other day and um, I was quite quite bowled over by it really I wasn't expecting it at all so thank you for that Roger you made my evening as um, as I was up with my daughter Anwen and I was watching it and it really made me smile at one o'clock in the morning so um, thank you and um, for those of you who haven't checked out Roger's um, vlog um, it's Roger and Nikki's allotment and the other thank you is to my mum because I'm always mentioning my dad because he works on the allotment with me but um, when I did my potato harvest and uh, my beetroot harvest and any other harvest she has always sorted it out so when I've come back from being on the allotment all day I haven't had to turn around and process all the food that I've got and, um, and I really appreciate it so I wanted to say thank you to you as well ma'am and, um, and thank you for my ironing as well so that's it now that's enough of the gushing um, I'll catch you next time lovely job